only approximately half of the lymphoid tissue in your body are in well-defined lymphoid organs, such as lymph nodes, thymus, spleen. The other half is distributed in the mucosa of uh, multiple uh, organs and organ systems like respiratory tract, GU tract, uh, gastrointestinal tract, and this is called mucosal associated lymphoid tissue or MALT. In some areas, the MALT or mucosal lymphoid tissue is differentiated enough to form grossly recognizable uh, organs or excrescences, and these are called tonsils. And you basically have three classical types of tonsils, the largest of which in the oral cavity are the palatine tonsils, where the soft palate meets the tongue. In the uh, nasopharynx, you have pharyngeal tonsils, otherwise known as adenoids. And at the uh, back of the tongue, you have lingual tonsils, which are also uh, lymphoid uh, tissue uh, in that mucosa. This is a palatine tonsil. Of the three different types of tonsils, uh, all of which contain these lymphoid follicles, in that you have these uh, lymphoid follicles in which the denser, bluer lymphocytes are at the periphery of a follicle and the lighter central areas are the germinal centers. That's the hallmark of all secondary lymphoid follicles or lymphoid nodules uh, everywhere in the body. But in palatine tonsils, you have the additional differentiation of having squamous epithelium form little clefts or crypts, C-R-Y-P-T-S, between these uh, groups of lymphoid tissue. And these are called your tonsillar crypts. And the tonsillar crypts are lined by stratified squamous epithelium like you see here. And they can even extend to deep within the lymphoid tissue. But nevertheless, uh, the general overall sort of monotonous uh, pattern for any lymphoid organ is to have secondary follicles consisting of lighter groups of lymphocytes in the center of the follicle called germinal centers. They're lighter because there's more cytoplasm per cell. And at the periphery, the denser, smaller, bluer lymphocytes, mostly because the amount of cytoplasm is less than in the center of the follicle. Um, these are, this is characteristic of practically all lymphoid tissue and all tonsillar tissue. But of the three uh, types of tonsils, I want you to, to remember that uh, the only one that has these groups of follicles intermingled with these squamous, stratified squamous epithelial lined clefts or crypts are the largest of all the tonsils which are the palatine tonsils. In kids, palatine tonsils can be almost as big as golf balls. In adults and elderly people, they can be virtually absent because like uh, we saw in the thymus, lymphoid tissue involutes or atrophies with old age. Is there anything in this field you can't identify? Here's squamous cells, here's secondary lymphoid follicles, here's germinal centers. And really, I can't think of anything uh, other than what we just said that is the architecture of a tonsil. So, as we said before, I thank you very much.